Let's see if I can get an interview with a Shriner. Take one. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're a Shriner, right? Yeah. How long have you guys been uh, doing, uh, like, working with the animals that you guys got on there now? Like, I'm, I'm from PETA, and yeah. I do animal liberation and all that, yeah. so I was just kind of curious uh, well, your views exactly on... I don't know how many years it's been going on for... Uh, yeah, I, I know, time. I remember being as a kid, yeah. the Shrine Circus coming to town, I went to it once myself, and, yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. but does it not bother you guys, like, the, the, like, like the, the downfall, like, with the company that you guys use, there's been, like, so many different cases where they've had animal abuse got brought against them and stuff like that, yeah. does that not... Like, I know the Shriners, like, uh, are a great bunch of guys that, uh, you know, they help children, burn units, and all that kind of stuff, but it's it's the track record of the people that you use for your Shrine services. Well, we have no control over that. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's mainly the head office that controls and hires and that? Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, it kind of gives you guys a bad name in the animal world and, and like a lot of... Uh, like a lot of us, like we've done our background on, on, on these guys and we've seen all the reports, we've seen all the arrest records and, and everything else. And it's just, it's really concerning that somebody, something as great as your organization that's like helpful for kids. And then you got this where people have been actually injured and in some cases killed with uh, some of their neglect and stuff. So uh, I'm sure that happens. Uh, that was a worry yeah, well, if you, any any kind of circus that uses animals, like unless it's Circus LA, you know, you're going to have incidents. But these guys have, have an outstanding track record of incidents that take place. So, uh, I yeah. How long have you been with, uh, like, doing the training with the circus and that? Oh, uh, I've been at least 15 years. Oh, really? Wow, you've been at it a while. What do you What do you do for them? Are you just you dress well, up? We, as... we look after the crippled children. Oh, okay, so you bring the kids in and. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And uh, we we bring kids from all over Canada. Yeah. It's, it's, now we specialize on on hip hip or used to uh, bone repairs, you know, like legs and. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah, for the missing limbs and, and yeah. And uh, we pay for all the expenses and. No, now, just on your personal opinion, what, in regards to animals, would you like to see it someday? Just be acrobat, like uh, something. You've been to Circus LA, right? Have you seen what their yeah, the, what their show is like? Oh, okay, if you ever get a chance, check it out because they put such an amazing show on, and all they use is people. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Now, now, one day, would you like to see a circus like that where animals are not used? Oh, wow! I like to hear that from coming from a trainer. I'd love to hear that. That's Yeah. That's, that's, uh, and uh, through our own relations and uh, everybody else's relations with the Shriners, uh, that's what uh, pays for our hospital. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I, I've, like, I've done a lot of my research and everything else. But like I said, my main concern is to hopefully one day see you guys have a circus where there's no animals. Because it's just, it's just like, you, it, all you have to do well, is YouTube these guys. And, someday, uh, yeah. Oh, there'll always be circuses. Don't get me wrong, but it'd be nice to start seeing circuses leaning towards more of uh, like showing off people skills, not people scaring the crap out of animals to make them jump through fire. Like this year, they got tigers, and like uh, I've seen some of the footage from some of the shows this year, and it's it's kind of scary, you know. And plus, like I, I've like I've done some uh, research, like I've done some stuff myself where I've actually caught them, like washing the elephants with uh, power hoses, like the gas powered ones. And like I called the company up on it and they laughed at me on the company going, no, you're not supposed to touch them with that. And they were, they were washing the elephants underneath uh, one of the little tents. The sides were down. So there was still air coming in, but it's the fact that elephants are higher up. So you got gas fumes coming off of that and they're still woven. And they had the gas cans right in there with the elephants. And there's all kinds of like dry hay around it and that. Like one small mishap, and that could have like been a catastrophe. And it's your guys that goes down with it because it's your it's a shrine circus. 
and it's like little things like that, like that. Like actually, this stuff what I just told you now just made the newspaper last week. From so. Oh yeah, they're the worldwide. But actually, um, circuses with animals just got banned in Europe and in a lot of places over there, like uh, Britain. You can't have any acts with animals at all in it, at all. In it, you know. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, it'd be nice. Did you happen to hear down in Mexico, two of the elephants escaped and got hit, and uh, were killed in traffic out of a circus, like, which means no more suffering from them. Like, the, you know, the, how old your elephants are that are in there? They're 40. Uh, I think they're saying they're 42 and 46 years old, and this is the, all the life they've known is just being uh, in a circus. It's kind of scary. Eh? Could you imagine your life being stuck to a chain? <laughs> But I won't leave you guys. I'll let you go now. Thank you for uh, t taking the time to talk to me. Most people don't, so okay. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. That was Rob talking to a Shriner. Thank you.